He was a boy. Just a boy. And I was a very young girl. I was 16 when I made the discovery. Love. All at once and much, much too completely. It was like you suddenly turned a blinding light on something that's always been half in shadow. Well, that's how it struck the world for me. That I was unlucky to boot it. There was something different about the boy, a sort of nervousness softness and a tenderness which wasn't like a man's although he wasn't the least bit effeminate looking still that thing was there he came to me for help but i didn't know that i didn't find out anything till after our marriage when we'd run away together and come back and all I knew was I had failed him in some mysterious way. Like I couldn't give him the help he needed, but couldn't speak of. He was in the quicksand, clutching at me. But I wasn't holding him out. I was slipping in with him. I didn't know that. All I knew was I loved him unendurably, but without being able to help him or help myself. Then I found out. In the worst of all possible ways, by coming into a room which I thought was empty. Well, it wasn't empty. It had two people in it. The boy I had married and an older man who had been his friend for years. <laughs> Afterwards, we pretended like nothing had been discovered. The three of us drove out to the Moon Lake Casino, very drunk and laughing all the way. We danced the Vasaviana and... Suddenly, in the middle of the dance, boy I had married broke away from me and ran out of the casino. A few moments later, a shot. I ran out, all did, all ran and gathered about the terrible thing at the edge of the lake. I couldn't get near for the crowding and then someone caught my arm and said, don't go any closer. You don't want to see. See? See what? And then I heard them say, Alan, Alan the Grey Boy. He, he stuck a revolver into his mouth and fired. So the back of his head had been blown away. It was because on the dance floor, unable to hold myself, I said, I saw, I know, and you disgust me. And then the searchlight, which had been turned on the world, was turned off again. Never for one moment since has there been any light that's stronger than a kitchen candle.